President Roosevelt, Secretary of the Treasury Henry Morgenthau, Paul Muni, Francia Tone, Walter Houston, Charles Lawton, and Orson Welles, among others, will be heard on the big show that starts the fifth war loan tonight at 10 o'clock. You can hear this big war bond show over mutual tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern Wartime. <laughs> It's a case for Nick Carter, master detective. Yes, it's a case for that most famous of all manhunters, the detective whose ability at solving crime is unequaled in the history of detective fiction, Nick Carter, master detective. Continuing the curious adventure called The Accidental Bullet, or Nick Carter and the Mystery of the Murdered Dog. <laughs> With the mystery of the test tube murders finally solved, Nick Carter is taking it easy. He has no case to occupy his mind, and what's more, he hopes none will come along. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and he's just only arrived at his office. Morning, Patsy. Oh, hello, Nick. Shame on you. It's almost 10 o'clock. Yes, I know. I just felt lazy this morning. Any calls? Not a thing. Wasn't anything in the mail, either. Good. Then I'll work in my lab this morning, unless something comes up. I'm counting on you to keep me from being disturbed and that there's something really important. I will, Nick. Yes, girl, thank you. Uh, this spring fever Nick has must be catching. I oh, hope that's only the mailman. Well, just a minute. Yes, can I help you? Young lady, I want to speak to Mr. Nicholas Carter. Oh, well, won't you come in, please? Please sit down, Mr. Uh, Simon Agnew is my name, young lady. I used to know Nicholas' father. He and I were old friends. I see. Now, I want to see Nicholas. He always was a smart boy. Maybe he's detective enough to tell me who murdered Lord Nelson. Who murdered Lord Nelson? That's what I said, young lady. Lord Nelson. Died last night in my backyard with a bullet through his head. Died in your backyard? But, Mr. Agnew, Lord Nelson was a famous British admiral who died at the Battle That's of... That Captain Lord Nelson is a bulldog, too, young lady. My watchdog. Now he's dead. Murdered by some thieving rascal. I want to hire Nicholas Carter to find the man who killed him. Oh, I see. Well, Mr. Agnew, I'm afraid Mr. Carter doesn't investigate the murder of dogs. You see, he's a... What is it, Patsy? Anything wrong? Oh, Nick, this is Mr. Simon Agnew. He says he was a friend of your father's. Of course. How are you, Mr. Agnew? Hello, I remember Nicholas. Dad speaking of you often. What seems to be the trouble? I heard someone mention the word murder. Lord so Nelson, I... Nicholas. Lord Nelson has been murdered. Uh, Lord Nelson was Mr. Agnew's watchdog, Nick. I was just telling him that dog murders are a little out of your line. Murder is murder, young lady, whether it's a dog or a man. Isn't that right, Nicholas? I agree with you, Mr. Agnew. And I'll be glad to look into the matter for you. Oh, but Nick, well, you I said know, Patrick, you but this is different. I have never tried to find the murderer of a dog before. It may be a very interesting case. I want the murderer punished to the full extent of the law, Nicholas. Well, Mr. Agnew, I can't make any promises, but I'll do my best. You want to go along, Patsy? I sure do. This is no day to sit in an office. All right, come on, then. Let's get started. <laughs> Here we are, Nicholas. This is where I live. I see. Very nice little cottage. You live alone? Except for Lord Nelson. Now he's dead. But it seems so isolated. Don't you ever get lonely? Young lady, I'm an inventor. I can't work if there are a lot of people around to bother me. Yes, I know. I'm that way myself. Well, let's get out and see what we can find. Now come in this way, Nick. We'll go through the house. I see you've no neighbors near you. The nearest house is 200 yards away. <laughs> What's this? I'll show you one of my little inventions. What kind of an invention, Mr. Agnew? A special burglar-proof lock. Well, there isn't any lock on the door at all. There isn't even a doorknob. <laughs> and that's why it's burglar-proof. And just watch. All I need to do is to blow this whistle. And the door opens. <laughs> Why, that's marvelous. <laughs> you see, the sound of the whistle operates an electric lock. <laughs> Smart, eh? <laughs> come in, come in. It's a very clever device, Mr. Agnew. It certainly is. No burglar would ever dream of blowing a whistle to make a door open. And if he did, he'd give himself away at once. <laughs> I've got something else here that'll interest you, too. My silent secretary. A silent secretary? Yes. It's an automatic recording device that takes down everything a visitor says while he's in the house. I see. Was it on when we came in? Only at first, and I cut it off. Here, I'll play it back for you. 
Now, you'll hear the first things you said when you came in. Listen, now. It's a very clever device, Mr. Agnew. It certainly is. No burglar would ever dream of blowing a whistle to make a door open. <laughs> That's when I cut it off. The apparatus is all hidden in the coat closet here. <laughs> Never guessed that, did you, Mr. Carter? Oh, I certainly didn't. Well, it's wonderful, Mr. Agnew. Do you have many other inventions like these? Oh, dozens of them. That's what the burglar who killed Lord Nelson was after. I see. You're sure it was a burglar, then? Well, who else would kill my watchdog? And come along. I'll show you his body. It's in the kennel out back of the house. He's right back this way. I haven't touched him. And here's the kennel. Right here by the back steps. And there's Lord Nelson lying inside. Stone dead. Oh, the poor thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, the bullet entered his head while he was lying there asleep. And at least he didn't suffer. The finest watchdog you could want. He'd bark his head off if a stranger came near the house. And yet he was asleep when he was killed. What do you mean? Well, it seems strange he didn't wake up when the murderer entered the yard. Well, that's right. I never thought of that. You said a burglar killed him. It was your house robbed last night, Mr. Ragnar? Well... No, Nicholas, it wasn't. Was there any sign of a burglar even having tried to get in? <laughs> Come to think of it, there wasn't. What are you getting at, Nick? I don't believe Lord Nelson was killed by a burglar. But then who did kill him? Well, I don't know yet. Mr. Agner, what's in that direction up there, up the hill and through those trees? Over there? Oh, just an old stone house. The only any place anywhere near me. Anyone live in it? It's been empty for years. And somebody bought it just a while ago, though. For some kind of a club, I think. Not a hunting club, by any chance. Oh, no, Nick. There's no hunting around here anymore. I see. Well, suppose you let me and Patsy look around for more clues. You can go on with your work in the meanwhile. All right, Nicholas. But let me know what you find. I will. I want that murderer caught in punishment. Poor old fellow. He must have been awfully fond of his dog. Yes, but Patsy, I don't believe Lord Nelson was killed intentionally. Why not, Nick? Well, first look at this hole on the side of the kennel where the bullet went through. Mm -hmm. Would anyone have deliberately fired through the kennel to kill the dog? Oh, that's right, they wouldn't. They'd have run the risk of missing him. Certainly. And then again, if anyone had come into the yard, the dog would certainly have waked and barked. No, Patsy. The bullet that killed Lord Nelson came from some distance away. Yes, of course, I can see that now. I think it probably was a wild bullet. And judging from this hole in the kennel, it came from someplace up that hill. Well, then it must have been an accident. Mm hmm Well, if that's true, then no one's to blame and the case is solved. Not necessarily, Patsy. I have a funny hunch there's still a lot we don't know about this case. So before we call it closed, let's take a walk up that hill and see what we can find. <laughs> this must be the house Agnew mentioned. Mm, curious old place. All made of stone. Looks like a miniature castle. Yes. It's a style that was popular back in the 80s. Mm. Oh, watch that loose step. Mm -hmm. It's deserted, all covered with ivy, and windows have shutters over them. Yes, it does. I think I hear someone, though, over there. Yes, look. Over there on the terrace. There's a man mopping up the tiles. Boy, look at him scrub. Hello there. What? Who are you? What do you want? We're looking for the owner. Is he around? There ain't no owner. This is a social club. Oh, I see. Uh, then is the manager around? Oh, Mr. Kent? Yeah. Yeah, he's inside. I'd like to speak to him for a moment. All right, I'll go get him. Who wants... Carter, Nick Carter. Nick Carter? Okay. Just a moment, Mr. Carter. Let me act as suspicious of us, didn't it? Yes, we rather took him by surprise. Nick, he wasn't mopping up the whole terrace. He's been working on just this one small spot. Well, it probably just got started, Patsy. Mm, maybe. Look, Patsy. Hmm? Down the hill, through the trees. Yes, you can just see the back of Mr. Agnes cottage from here. Yes. Nick, do you think the bullet that killed Lord Nelson came from here? Hold it, Betsy. Here comes the manager. Uh, Mr. Carter, I'm Howard Kent, manager of the 52 Club. My assistant says you want to see me. Yes, Mr. Kent. I hoped you could give me some information. Information? Yes. Did you hear a shot fired near this house any time last night? A shot? Yes. Why, no. No, I didn't. Did you, Bill? Not me, Mr. Kent. I didn't hear a thing. Why do you ask, Mr. Carter? Well, Mr. Agnew's dog was killed last night, and we... Well, my secretary means that a stray bullet struck a dog belonging to a neighbor of yours, and we just wanted to find out if it came from around here. No, it couldn't have. There aren't any guns around the place, except for some ornamental old antiques in the game room. I see. I suppose this is a um, bridge club you're running, isn't it? A uh, card club, Mr. Carter. For a few well-to-do members who like privacy, to uh, be perfectly honest. They all like to get together for an occasional game of poker where they won't be disturbed. I see. Well, sorry to have bothered you. Oh, not at all. 
Guess we better get back, Betsy. As far as we're concerned, the case seems closed. I'm sorry we couldn't be of more help. Quite all right. Here, Betsy, these steps are uneven. You better take my arm. Nick, they were both lying. I'm sure of it. I think so, too. But then why are we leaving? You certainly haven't given up, have you? No, Betsy, I haven't. There's nothing more we can do here now. We can't prove they're lying without some kind of evidence. Yeah, I suppose not. Well, where to now? Back to Simon Agnews. I'll ask him to let me take the dog's body back to my office. I want to dig out that bullet and examine it. What do you think you can learn from the bullet? I haven't the faintest idea yet, Patsy, but I'm going to find out. You need any help, Nick? No, Patsy. It won't take long to dig the bullet out. What in the world do you suppose Kent and that assistant of his were trying to cover up? Well, perhaps the bullet will give us a clue. I'll only be a few minutes. Right, Nick. You through already, Nick? Oh. Take it easy, sister. Oh, who are you? We wouldn't be wearing masks if we wanted you to know that, sister. That's right. And these nice little guns will go off if you don't do just like we tell you. Yeah. What do you want? We want to see Nick Carter. He's not here. You're lying. We saw both of you come in not more than a minute ago. There's a door over there, Jake. It's probably in there. Yeah, you're right. Okay, sister. Call Nick Carter to come out here. I won't do it. Maybe this will help you to change your mind. Oh, let go of me. Not yet, sister. Joe, cover that door with your gun. Yeah. When Carter comes out, see that the act's nice. I got you. Now, sister, you call Carter. I tell you I won't. Oh, you're hurting me. I ain't even begun to hurt you, honey. I like this. Oh. Oh. Nick? Nick? Yeah, Patsy, what? Stick him up, Carter. Play nice or I'll plug you. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Nick. I couldn't help calling you. That's all right, Patsy. Well, what do you two thugs want? We want the body of that dog you just brought here, Carter. And we're going to get it if we have to kill both of you just as dead as a dog is. Well, what started out to be a simple case of the accident and killing of a dog seems to be growing stranger by the minute. Why should two armed thugs want the dog's body so badly they're willing to kill to get it? Is there something about the dead dog that Nick should know? Listen tomorrow. <laughs> the Strange Adventures of Nick Carter, Master Detective, features Lon Clark as Nick Carter. Patsy is played by Helen Choate. The stories are written by Bob Arthur and David Cogan. And original music is played by Lou White. <laughs> Be sure to listen tomorrow to the next episode of this exciting story and follow the further adventures of Nick Carter in the case entitled The Accidental Bullet or Nick Carter and the Mystery of the Murdered Dog. The Return of Nick Carter, a copyright feature of Street and Smith Publications Incorporated, is presented by the Mutual Broadcasting System from the studios of WOR New York. The adventures of Nick's adopted son, Chick Carter, boy detective, are broadcast over most of these stations Monday through Friday at 5.15 p.m. Eastern Wartime. Nick's own show is presented over most of these stations every evening, Monday through Friday at a quarter past eight Eastern Wartime. This is Mutual. Thank <laughs> you.